Family Feud is a game show where two teams go head-to-head -head and try to guess the most popular answers to survey questions. The contestants are under a lot of pressure, and if they can't handle it, we'll end up witnessing a pretty ridiculous answer. Because this program has been around since the 70s, there have been tons of funny moments. Welcome back to Film Shack. Today, we prepared for you the 10 funniest answers on Family Feud. Number 10. A gerbil. Name something a doctor might pull out of a person. Darcy. A gerbil. Doctors can pull some really strange things out of people. If they're inanimate objects, then they're usually small enough to fit inside one of the holes in your body. Name something a doctor might pull out of a person. I guess this is an easy question. First thing that comes to my mind is a nail, but not to this girl. Her answer is gerbil. If it's alive, then it's typically something that has crawled its way into your body somehow. That's why this answer is so ridiculous. Can you imagine someone walking into their doctor's office and telling them that they have a small rodent inside of them? First of all, why did you allow for this creature to get that far up in you where you couldn't take it out? And why was it entering you in the first place? If I was the physician who had to witness this, my face would look exactly like Steve or the other contestant. I guess that someone is listening to Eminem way too much and gets his words too seriously. Number 9. Sister? When you were a kid, name something you used as a partner to practice kissing. <laughs> yeah. Sister. This one is wrong on so many levels. I've heard of people practicing how to kiss on their hands, pillows, mirrors, and even food but I never would think that somebody would actually do this with their sibling. I guess this might just be my adult brain knowing that incest is terribly wrong, but I still can't imagine somebody of kissing age wanting to practice with their brother or sister. If I was this guy, I would have played it off like it's something that other individuals do, but then he threw himself under the bus when he admitted to actually doing it. It's hard to believe that there's one person out there who did this, but there's at least seven other individuals who are willing to confess to this as well. Number 8. No answer given. Which of the seven dwarfs describes your wife in bed? <laughs> How would you answer the question? Which of the seven dwarfs describes your wife in bed? The names of the seven dwarves are as follows. Doc, Grumpy, Happy, Sleepy, Bashful, Sneezy, and Dopey. As you can tell, most of these adjectives aren't positive. So when Steve Harvey asked two men which of these guys describes your wife in bed, you could probably guess what their response was. Neither of the men wanted to be the one to say one of these words because if they said the wrong thing, then they could have ended up in the doghouse with their spouse. It's okay for all the other men out there who answered the survey because they were anonymous, but these gentlemen didn't have that luxury. One of them did eventually end up giving an answer to the host, but their initial reactions to the question are the real answers here. Number 7. Naked Grandma Something a burglar would not want to see when he breaks into a house. Rob. Naked Grandma! Naked, huh? The best moments in Family Feud history are when the contestants say something outlandish and it still winds up being on the board. When this man said that a burglar wouldn't want to see a naked grandma inside of a house that he robbed, no one in the audience thought that his response was going to be up on the board. The guy who said it sounded confident with his reply, but I'm sure he didn't even think that it was going to be there. Yes, that's not something that anyone would want to see, but what are the odds that somebody that surveyed actually gave that as their answer? Luckily for him, a nude grandmother is an occupant, so technically he wasn't wrong in saying it. Number 6. Potato. 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 <laughs> Name a word or phrase that starts with pot. The way Laura said potato, I don't know what's funnier here. Laura's answer or Steve's response. When your family already has two strikes and you're the next person to give an answer, there's a lot of stress put on you. If you say the right thing, you move on. But if you don't, then the other team has a chance to steal. When this woman opens up her mouth to speak, it was easy to tell that she folded under pressure. She just said the first thing that came to mind, and Mr. Harvey gave her hell for it. It sounded ridiculous, but it actually ended up being on the board. And when the host found that out, he couldn't believe it. He was sure that something as silly as potato wouldn't be there. 
but it was, and he ended up looking like the foolish one. Number five, Jose. Give me a boy's name that starts with the letter H. Jose. Simple questions get simple answers, right? In this situation, the host asked, give me a boy's name that starts with the letter H. The contestant answered with Jose, very confident in his answer. This response is actually a little understandable. He was put on the spot and had to come up with something right away. And so he came up with the name that starts with the H sound. If Jose was an English word, then the J would have been replaced with an H. But since it has Spanish origins, that's not the case. So he may have said the first thing that came to mind, even though it was wrong. But as soon as it left his mouth, everyone there should have realized that it wasn't going to be up on the board. But even though they were clearly getting ready to get a buzzer, the family still clapped for him. That's what makes this even funnier. They all knew that they were going to see a big red X flash before their eyes, but they still cheered him on and told him that it was a good answer. Number four, eat the reindeer. Michael, in this bad economy, what might Santa Claus have to do to one of his reindeers? Eat one. <laughs> After Steve asked, in this bad economy, what might Santa have to do with one of his reindeer? Michael calmly answered with, eat one. This answer is actually fairly logical. It may not be nice to imagine, but if things were getting tough financially for dear old Santa Claus, then he might feel the need to eat one of his reindeers. If he couldn't afford to buy any food, then he would have a few options for it standing at the front of his sleigh. And not to mention, since they're big and strong, that reindeer is going to last a while. It's also full of protein, which means that it's going to fill him up. He could kill it and then put the rest to the side for later. He wouldn't even have to worry about storing it, because since he lives in the North Pole, he could easily keep it in the snow and not have to worry about it going bad. Whenever he wanted some more, he could just step outside and get another piece. Number 3. Change the Channel Steve wanted to be nice to this little old lady. He didn't want to ask her a question about sex because that's not an appropriate thing to ask someone that's her age. This was probably his thought process, but little did he know that this woman was more than up to helping her team get through that round. She's been around much longer than Mr. Harvey, which means that she most likely has infinitely more experience in this department than he does. She acted all coy when he was telling her how inappropriate his producers were for making him ask her this. But then, she taught him a thing or two when she opened up her mouth and gave Mr. Harvey her response. Don't let grandma fool you. Harvey asked her, if your sex life had a remote control, name a button you'd hit a lot. Granny shocked us all with her answer. No one could ever imagine this granny saying, change the channel. Number two, pie in the blank. Fill in the blank, pie in the what? Horse. We all know that Snoop Dogg is known for partaking in some recreational activities. It's quite clear from songs, videos, and movies that he's done that he's no stranger to Mary Jane. There's a stereotype out there that potheads are not necessarily the most intelligent individuals out there. They say that weed kills brain cells, and if that's the case, then that might explain Snoop's answer to this question. After Steve told him to complete the sentence, pie in the blank, he quickly said something that most of us didn't understand at first. He said horse. Yes, that's right, pie in the horse. Normally, I can try and get into the minds of the contestants and figure out what their thought process was in order to come up with the response they gave. But that's not the case here. I have no idea what was going through his brain when he thought of this, and I'd be willing to bet that I'm not the only one who couldn't figure it out either. Number one, chicken. Name Popeye's favorite food. <laughs> On Thursday night's episode, the game show entered the sudden death round, and the stakes were high. Whoever answered correctly won the show. All right, really simple. There's one question, only one answer. Whoever gets it, you're playing for $10,000. Whoever guesses this wins the game, says Gary D, host of Family Feud Canada. D continues to read the prompt, name Popeye's favorite food. He barely finishes the question before Dubois slaps the buzzer and sings, chicken and proceeds to do a hilarious happy dance. Family members are left stunned as the audience and host struggle to contain their laughter. Everyone else seemed to understand that D was referencing the cartoon character and not the Popeye's fried chicken chain. The competitor, Logan Tomlin, quickly retorts, spinach, Jerry. His answer won his family $10,000 and the game. 
Du Bois had a simple excuse for her wrong answer. I thought you meant Popeye's chicken. Du Bois has happily recovered from her funny mishap and has even embraced it. She posted a video of herself dancing with fried chicken, proving that she's always been a chicken fanatic. This was taken two years ago. Hashtag the original chicken dance, she captioned the tweet. We would like to invite you to share your opinion with us. Do you agree with our list? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications bell. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye!